Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Mike Martin's here with the Mike Martin's channel. Welcome to Morning Coffee with Mike. I want to thank everyone for joining me and taking the time to join me. What is happening? It's are good this morning. Even with the feds issuing quantitative, quant quantitative infinity, uh, markets are still doing decent. Um, the Dow, the Russell, the uh, everything's looking like it's uh, moving along positively. All markets looking positive. Oil still uh, moving up uh, over to 56 bucks a barrel. It's looking like it wants to keep pushing upwards. It's the last time I checked, so it could have changed by then. Uh, Canadian dollar pushing to 77 cents on the dollar, which is impressive. Um, oil, oil doing well because of, uh, well, in Canada, it's good for us because of the, uh, the new pipeline and everything that's gotten approved and stuff. So that's kind of a, a positive uh, thing uh, for Canadians and it'll open up more jobs, right? But yeah, people, I, I, you're not seeing too much. I'm not seeing a lot of fear in the market, uh, especially with them uh, going to lower rates. You know, Bitcoin's up 500 Canadian today. Uh, from a, a weekend slight dip over the weekend and well quite a bit of a dip over the weekend but I'm so surprised that uh, you know a lot of people are starting to, to sway or move away from these um, from these currency uh, from this fiat currency moving from fiat and moving to something more transit so you're seeing um, Bitcoin pretty much uh, rally today it rallied it kind of dipped over the weekend but it rallied the last couple of weeks reaching all new highs for the year, which is uh, a good thing for cryptocurrency investors. And then gold is uh, pushing for, uh, 1420 right now, US, a uh, troy ounce, and hitting a uh, new year highs, which is really good to see gold uh, doing that because gold is money and money is gold, right? And it, t it took me many years to sway me towards cryptocurrency. I don't know, I just felt like it was, you know, a thing of like, uh, you know, I just see it as a light switch, right? And a lot of people still see the, still, a lot of people still believe what I, what I feel about that. It's a light switch, right? Even a lot of the heavy crypto uh, investors could probably tell you the same thing too. It is a light switch, and I mean, could it be shut off at any time? That's the main concern a lot of people have today, right? So, lots going on in the markets, and on a positive note, everything looks like it's doing well, but. With uh, Canada losing 11,000 construction jobs in the last couple of weeks, it's on Better Dwelling. I, I covered that article for you guys. It's kind of weird how how um, you're seeing confidence in the markets in the last couple of weeks, which is which is uh, you know a lot of people. The bond bond is like below two percent. It's like 1.97 or 9.6 or 9.5 right now. I mean, you why? Um, I, I, I mean, yeah. Well, it should be lower than that because they constantly threatening to lower rates, constantly threatening quantitative easing. I wouldn't be surprised. There's massive bond sell-offs, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was, um, if it goes down below 1.5% uh, easy. I know that sounds ludicrous, but hey, easy. The way things are headed, we cannot predict what the feds have up their sleeves. Wall Street, the bankers, our governments, we can't predict anything. And that's why this housing market is, is taking its time to come to grips with itself, right? You see Toronto right now, um, hitting new sales. Uh, well, they're finding a way to get the middle class in the market with the new first-time home buyers loans, right? The first new new um, uh, first-time home buyers loans is becoming. I don't know. Is it a problem? Yes, it's a problem. Is it become? A, is it going to become a bigger problem down the road? Yes, because a lot of people when they sell their their homes, they got to pay back these federal loans that help them get in so basically it's like a these first-time homebuyer loans to me is like a silent partner in the mob oh you want to get into this you want to get into this deal I'll help you get into this deal and look what happens when you get into this deal don't worry we'll be back to collect our, our money or, or we're gonna start charging you vig or interest or under juice or undercurrents or whatever you want to call it so they start charging you vig on that and it's almost like paying it back three times by the time you pay it off Oh, but my house increased uh, uh, 30000 in the last two years. Yeah, well, you know what? You owe us back more from that first-time homebuyer's loan. So people got to be careful with that stuff and whatever they get into. Please be very careful. Read the fight print. Understand what you're signing. Understand what you're getting into. The banking cartels are always trying to find a way to keep the Ponzi scheme going. Look what's happening with Deutsche Bank. Deutsche Bank is spiraling into 
almost like, you know, when um, you see a plane nosedive and it's trying to pull itself up? Well, that's what Deutsche Bank is trying to do right now. They're trying really hard to get themselves into a position where they could stabilize, but they ain't stabilizing with the amount of derivatives of what, trillions of dollars in, 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 in uh, derivatives. It's not looking good for them, especially with the um, with the cost of borrowing going down. Uh, banking um, confidence in banking right now is below nineteen percent. I mean, the only people that believe in the banking system right now are the ones that are invested in it right now. All right, lots of people here in the parking lot. It looks like a tour bus in town. Get myself my cafe, morning coffee. I want to thank my Patreon supporters for supporting me in this coffee. All Patreon money goes towards coffee, people. I only have nine supporters, but it's great. I love you guys, you know? Uh, believing in my work, believing in what I'm doing, believing that I bring value to the table, I guess, you know? And uh, the reason why I don't bring up, uh, I'm not a big fan of graphs and bringing up analytics is because we don't have real numbers. Hi, um, can I get an extra large dark roast coffee with one cream? Sure, anything else? That's it, thank you. Okay, 240, thank you. Yep. Yeah. Graphs are good, but they don't give you the entire story. They're not telling you what's what's underlying. And that's why, like I was looking at Australia, it's like really hard to peg Australia. I know Australia is in a heap, a heap of problems right now. But what I do, what I do know about Australia is that they don't have the best information when it comes to data for housing and stuff. They almost make it like it's the greatest secret on earth. And Canada, we get a bit... The U.S., it's open. It's an open book in the U.S. You can see what's been listed, what has been listed, what's going on, what's going on with this, what's going on with that. People are very informed in the U.S. Canada, a little bit better. U.K., I'm not too sure, but I know Australia, it's like it's like a big secret where everything's at. Hi. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. So I'm off to get another gallon of paint. I ran out of blue paint yesterday. Oh, what a beautiful color we're painting the store. It, it, it looks, it just looks so, oh, there's a tour bus of people walking down that alley to go to Canadian Tire, so I'm gonna have to go around the long way. And I'm just really surprised with the amount of like people over a hundred that are driving in this town. Like that lady that just passed me, she's over 90. And I don't know how she's operating a vehicle. You know, I just, that's one thing that surprises me in this little town is the amount of people that are just literally, wow, this guy's going to cut me off. The amount of people that are literally over like 90, 100 years old driving. All right, guys, I'm going to go buy a gallon of paints. I'm here at, at Canadian Liars. I think they open at nine, so they're open at 10 o'clock. Need to go buy some paint, uh, finish off that uh, second coat on the wall there. Lots of work on the go. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate the support. And we'll talk soon. And that's a little my little gist on the markets and, and uh, what to look out for. Guys, there's a lot of money to be made in markets. There's a lot of money to be lost. Make sure you do your research. Make sure you understand what you're getting in yourself into. Because no one works hard for your money like you do. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button.